Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable countries globally to climate change. The capital Dhaka is particularly affected by flooding and drainage congestion and heat stress. The poor bear the brunt of climate change because they can only afford housing in areas vulnerable to flooding and there is a lack of government investment to protect at risk areas. The poor also tend to live in low-lying areas and in informal settlements with their regular land tenure which lacks adequate drainage and other public services. My research in a DACA slum set out to understand how land tenure influences climate change impacts and what this means for local strategies to enhance climate resilience. This involved intensive research over several months in a slum in Mayapur in Dhaka with over 600 slum dwellers. 60% of Bangladesh's urban population are estimated to live in slums. Within Dhaka itself, approximately 40% of the population are slum dwellers. Within this slum that the project focuses on, it's estimated that there are about 13 to 14,000 households. This is one of the most vulnerable parts of the slum. It's located in a low-lying area close to a large water body, which experiences high flood risk. বর্তমানে <laughs> One of the household members that I interviewed in this community, this is one of their houses. And you can see the water level at the moment. But in the monsoon season when I was here, the water was right up to here. My research found that the urban poor show significant capacity to develop strategies to deal with climate change. However, in many cases, their efforts to enhance resilience are constrained by a lack of land tenure rights, which can reduce the incentive for people to invest scarce resources in risk reduction. Limited access to resources and assets can trap the urban poor in locations that have a high vulnerability to floods. After spending several months interviewing people in a slum in Dhaka, I realised that I owed them the chance to engage with the research findings they helped to produce. Many people do not read academic papers, so if you focus solely on communicating your work within academia, many people will not be aware of the findings. Potcans are an effective way to communicate to communities in Bangladesh. So I decided to use this form of indigenous applied theatre to communicate my research findings to a broad audience. To develop and perform the Pokgan, I worked in partnership with the University of Dhaka, which is well known for its Department of Theatre and Performance Studies. Ilsa Gramero Nam Begna no Dir Pare Go Megna no Dir Pare Ilisa Gramero Nam Megna no Dir Pare Go Megna no Dir Pare Santa Hoche Amade Deshek Deshojo Natoliti at a Bohukal Dure Bangladesh at a Podoshito Hyasche at a Dorone Golpo Bola at a pot canvas and Mudikichukolas Chobitake She Chobiguli Deke Deke Jamul Choritopare She Gano Kati Die Otobahad Die Deke Deke Golpota Boltake ওই গল্পের কিছু কিছু ছবি রিলেট করে এবং তার সাথে আপনার জন্তিরা থাকে এবং কোরাসরা থাকে এবং দর্শকের সাথে মূল জায়গাটা হচ্ছে ওই গল্পটা প্রেজেন্ট করে ভাই আমি যে একটা পরিবারের কথা কইছিলাম ওরা কিন্তু আয়া পড়ছে আইছে হ্যাঁ তো কই ডাকো গো এই এদিকে আসো এদিকে আসো আরে জলদি আসো ভাই 
এই সালাম দো সালাম দো ভাই আসসালামু আলাইকুম আরে ওয়া আমার কিন্তু একদম যে পাশের গ্রামের লোক বুঝছেন এই নদীর ভাঙনে সব লয়ে গেছে গা আপনি একটু থাকুন ব্যবস্থা করে দেন The Pokan is based on empirical findings of this research. It tells the stories of my research participants. It highlights the key impacts of climate change in the field site and some of the strategies used to address these impacts. But the key message of the Pokan is how climate change is linked to many other problems experienced in the everyday life of slum dwellers in Dhaka. Ek, dui. আহা এত চিন্তা করকে আমি দেখাই দেব মোটর আছে ওইদিকে আনবা ঠিক আছে মাপু এই যে শুনেন কি শুনেন এসব বাইকানের কি ব্যবস্থা আসলে ওখানে যে এত প্রবলেম নালা বন্ধ হয়ে যাওয়ার কারণে যে হচ্ছে নালা বন্ধ করে করে দেখা যাচ্ছে জমি বিক্রি করে দিচ্ছে হচ্ছে এই যে বিভিন্ন প্রবলেম এই প্রবলেমগুলো আমাদের তো আগে আইডিয়া ছিল না যেটা আমরা হচ্ছে এই প্রজেক্টের কারণে ওখানে রিসার্চ করার মাধ্যমে জানতে পেরেছি ক্লাইমেট চেঞ্জের যে ব্যাপার দেখছেন As you can see behind me, we're preparing for our Pokkan performance later this afternoon. The overall approach to organising this performance was a participatory approach, using local methods of communication, specifically using rickshaws with speakers to go around all parts of the slum to let people know that the performance will be held here. Also, what was really important was to select a time that would suit all members of the community, so we're not excluding females or children. I'm feeling apprehensive about this performance because the audience is made up of the very people that this Pokkan is based on. They've spent several months telling me how climate change impacts them on a daily basis. So I hope this Pokkan performance does justice to their stories. <laughs> ওখানে হচ্ছে একজনের সাথে আমাদের দেখা হয়েছিল হাজেরা নাম যিনি হচ্ছে যে ময়লা পানি জমে থাকে ওই ওই প্রবলেমটার কারণে স্কিন ডিজিজ আক্রান্ত তো আমি ওনার রোলে অভিনয় করছি আর কয় দিন ধরে হইছে সপ্তাহখানেক হইছে আমার মনে হয় এগুলো ময়লা পানি দিয়েই হইছে তো তোমার একলা হইলা কেন আর কারো তো হইলো না ওই মিয়া তোমার পয় শরীরে মে মন্দ বাস আছে মিয়া এই যেটা বোঝনের লে বেশি কথা বলকে হ্যালো ওটা শরীরে বাইন্দা দাও আরে এটা চুলার উপরে টাঙ্গাই দিবা কি বুঝছো আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে চুলার উপরে টাঙ্গাই দিবো ঠিক আছে মা উঠে দাঁড়াও তো দেখি আল্লাহ সব ঠিক হয়ে যাবে গান কথা ছন্দ এবং কখনো কখনো পারফরম্যান্স এই মধ্য দিয়ে আমরা একটা প্রশ্ন উত্থাপন করি দর্শকের সামনে যেটা একটা ইন্টারাকশনের জায়গা তৈরি করে বা উন্মুক্ত রাখে সংলাপের জন্য নালা বন্ধ করলে তো পানি যেতে পারবে না ও তো বাসা নাই ও তো থাকতে চায় উনি নেবে না এই খালা আপনার বাড়িতে নেবেন জোয়ানের সাথে আমার দীর্ঘদিনের পরিচয় জোয়ান দুই বছর যাবৎ প্রত্যেকটা ঘরে ঘরে ঢুইকে ঢুইকে সবার সাথে কথাবার্তা বলে আজকে সবই আমাদের বাস্তবের কাহিনী আমাদেরই হয়ে থাকে এইসব একসময় অনেক জল ছিল অনেক মানুষ এরকম বাচ্চারা পানিতে ডুবে মারাও গেছে আমি এই জায়গায় আজকে দেখি এখানে নাটক হইতে আছে আমি এখানে চারটে সময় নাটক আরম্ভ হয়েছে নাটকটা পুরো দেখি এখানে যে সিনগুলি দেখছি সুন্দরগুলো বাস্তব আর এই নাটকটা আরও বেশি করে হওয়া উচিত তবে আমাকে দেখলে আরও শান্তি পাবো আমরা
Cambridge Council. I'm here to prepare for our upcoming Potgam performance this evening. We're expecting a really mixed crowd here, mostly made up of members of the public. For this performance, I feel very calm because we've already had our first performance and it went really well. So I'm just excited to see the reaction of the audience members. The collaboration between the Global Development Institute at the University of Manchester and the University of Dhaka was a huge success. We brought very different skill sets to the project. The director of the Potgan, Asan, and the students at the University of Dhaka are extremely talented, hardworking, and committed to this project. <laughs> My research highlights the importance of situated responses to climate change that take account of resources, gender histories, power and cultural dynamics. I'm a bit nervous in terms of their reaction to the end of the potgan because at the end of each performance we have an interactive session it turns the table on the audience so they have to interact in some way with the actors <laughs> I thought your idea was a lovely one, but then I thought about you know how many people I would take to my village, but my village is also going under the water. Actually, climate change touch a world, man, whole world, one big big act of paper. In that, to see, for example, that is actually one big big act of paper. It is because of that, our little little life journey, our little little human being, 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 খনন হবে বা হবে না তখন আমাদের মধ্যে মানে এটা সমাধান আসলে কি আমরা সবাই মিলে চেষ্টা করেছি কিন্তু আদৌ কোনো সমাধান হয়নি কারণ এরকম পরিবার একটা না হাজার হাজার We're at the 10th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation to Climate Change. We're having one of our Potgan performances here this evening. There's been a lot of work that's went into this, particularly this week, and magically it's all come together within the last few hours. একে অপরের ভাইভ নেই বডির ভাইভ এবং একে অপরের নিঃশ্বাস রিদম সব একসাথে হয়ে একদম ক্লোজ হয়ে এই ধরনের একটা আওয়াজ বের করি যেটা আসলে অনেক হাই এটা করে আমরা পারফরম্যান্সের একদম কনসেনট্রেটেড হয়ে বসে পড়ি নার্ভাস লেভেল তো অনেক বেশি যেটাকে আমরা আসলে অনেক কমাচ্ছি আস্তে আস্তে I liked how the performance put climate change in what I think is the right place, which is not at the front. The actors were not saying, because of climate change, I now have no land. That's not how the world experiences travels. It's more about the politics. It's about dynamics. It's about local uh, choices. <laughs>
wasn't just enjoyment of the experience, it was actually making people think about the, the issues that were involved. So I, I thought it worked really well. I also thought it was very useful for providing a critique of the concept of community, which is used rather uncritically by many people. Within the short space of this play, I counted, I think, at least six types of conflicts between people who live in this so-called community. We need shelter. We have no house, no home. It was a, a very, very powerful experience. This made us care, and that's something that neither science nor policy is successful at doing. We have been trained into the belief that only certain forms of inquiry are valid. We in the climate community, development community, scientific community need to remember that there is a reason why performance was the earliest form of communication. It's because it reaches us. It reaches us at a level that is more likely to motivate action. We as audience became aware that we can change something. That moment was very powerful. It wasn't actually a traditional pop song. Uh, they made a riff off a traditional pop song and went into an issue that needed to be resolved and they drew the audience into debating on that particular issue in an extremely effective manner. In the end, the audience were the theater. One of the participants who works with uh, both scientists and uh, slum-dwelling communities in India told me afterwards that she's going to go back and do this. And she said one of her problems is getting scientists to actually talk in a language that normal people can understand. It humanizes what otherwise would be a fairly complex and uh, difficult to understand and theoretical uh, and technical issue. And, and I felt that they did that very, very well. Thank you very, Thank you. Thank you very much. Over three days in three different locations in Dhaka, over 600 people were exposed to my research. It was a challenge to engage such distinct audiences, but it was important to communicate the research findings to a wide range of stakeholders and listen to the feedback and conversations it prompted. This was an incredibly rewarding experience. When I went to leave the slum yesterday, one of the slum dwellers that I interviewed as part of this project told me it was like watching her life unfold in front of her. For people like her, for her family and community, we must support the people of Bangladesh to respond to climate change, one of the biggest environmental and development challenges of the 21st century.